everybody. What's going on? How are you boys doing today? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of the show. This is episode eight, I think. I'm starting to lose track, guys. This isn't a good thing. <laughs> but welcome back. I wanted to start today's episode off with a small little time lapse, show you guys what I'm working on on the island. I want this north side, I think this is the north side of the island, to kind of slope down a little bit more and not be so jagged. I also want there to be like a nice little area right between this island and the island uh, right next to it and I want that to be like a nice skating rink or uh, just a land bridge of ice connecting both islands so there's a little bit of terraforming that I need to do I need to start making this side of the mountain and then I need to get ice uh, for the regular part of the ice rink and so on and so forth. But that's later down the line. But I did want to show you guys that I am working on this. A majority of this one might be off camera. Uh, but I am going to get this working so that I can start building on this side of the island and start doing new things that you guys don't know about yet. I have secrets. I have secrets, okay? And she's starting to look absolutely beautiful there's some clunky bits like right here but that's definitely in the realm of fixing and i am super super excited i i think eventually what i want to do is i want to link this island up with this island chain because this island chain is pretty sick too if we go over here there's like another volcano thing. I don't know if I'm I'm going to go that far. I don't know if I want to go that far. But this little island has so much potential. And I can't wait to connect it and do some stuff with it. But let's move on from this, uh, this little thing that I've been doing off camera. Let's move on a little bit. And I have a plan that I want to tell you guys. Look at Leaford Jones over there. <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? He's just mountain climbing. It's what he does on his pastime. Um, but I have a plan that I really want to do, and I've been thinking of really long and hard about it. Uh, I just don't have the necessar necessary resources to do anything about it, so I haven't done it yet. But I'm going to do it in the next couple episodes. I want to make a very big build. And with this big build, I think I need uh, to plan some things out. Okay, so... If I could ever just get up here on top of this mountain. So the plan is I want to make a racetrack. Not any ordinary racetrack, but I will get to that another episode. I just want to let you guys know that I'm making a racetrack. And that's going to be this little island's main source of maybe income. I don't know, maybe not income, <laughs> but tourism. People are going to come from all around the world just to come to this little racetrack out in the middle of the water here. So I kind of need to make a tentative plan plan i would like i first and foremost i do not like this box and i do not like this antenna i think it just takes away from the main part of the build so i'm gonna be taking that down don't you freak out okay i don't want to hear about it <laughs> um but i think i want the starting line to be right here on this weird misshapen island and i want to kind of wrap it around on the outside of this guy right here all the way over here on the outsides of that because I want it to be on the outside so that we could build stuff up on this island um, and then around the outside of there all the way around and then over maybe to this chain right here yeah like over there around the outside once again and then around that and then back here to the starting line and that'll be like a nice it's not perfectly circular which I'm really happy about it's gonna look pretty sick and I have plans for that but I think that the main uh, main block that I'm going to need is probably some white clay. I don't know. I like how this turned out right here. And I think if I'm going to have like another main build for this ice biome, it's got to have a main color like the white. So if I, oh, <laughs> that was close. Um, if I'm going to go with a white clay, I'm going to need an infinite source of white dye. And what better place to obtain this white dye? than this skeleton spawner that we found last episode during the raid. That's right, baby. I'm going to go ahead and make a mob farm today. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy, nothing redstone oriented. I'm just going to drop them a bit, but I wanted to take you guys with me because I don't think I've ever really done this on camera. I, I think I've done this once, made like an actual mob farm one time. Um, but so I think it'll be fun. It's a, it's a monumental day for us. Uh, that being said, 
I came back here and I haven't found one villager. But I absolutely love this town. I like how there's different uh, elevations to this town, but not one villager. So I think we're going to repopulate this town one day. And then this is not only going to be like a mob spawner and a mob farm, but I'm thinking about making a villager breeder down here as well. I know there's ways to do it. There's 114 workarounds, and I want to go ahead and work on it. But that's, uh, that's, uh, that's for a different day, guys. Today... Let's go ahead and start building this bad boy. I think first steps is to widen up the room. So we got to make it four wide. So just like this all the way around. I think that's how it goes. And then now once we widen it up all the way, I think we have to go four down. And while we do that, we go ahead and fix the walls here. So one, two, three, four. And I believe we do that for the rest of the floor here. Oh, you know what? I'm hearing a skeleton. Oh, no, you know, oh, oh, geez, that's the skeleton I'm hearing right there. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, there might be caves around here, but I think there actually are. So what I got to do, I got to, oh, no, I got to make sure I lighten up this cave system that's connected to this right here, like right here. Oh, I was going to say I'm going to need coal, <laughs> but uh, that way skeletons can't spawn here, and that would increase the, the spawn rates, I think. And that's it right there. That's it. We got the room officially done. There we go. Just like that. Perfect Amundo. And I believe we go straight down here. And then I kind of want them to drop. Let's see. Let's. I want them to drop that way. I think that would probably be best. So we're going to do a three hole here. Um, and then I think... I need to make some signs, definitely. So let's go ahead, make a crafting bench real quick here. Make this here, and then we put, uh, we'll make some signs real quick, because I need three of them to block the water. Actually, I think I need four. I think I need four signs. <laughs> I don't know. I came totally unprepared today. Uh, how many is that going to give me? Three. So we'll go ahead and make six. Why not? Uh, and then we put one here one here one here and I believe we skip one here and then we put another one there and then we go here right I think I, I'm pretty sure that's what we do uh, but I could be wrong now we got to go ahead and get some water real quick I didn't get enough water I'm, I'm <laughs> such an idiot but let's drop down here go find there's some water right there that's perfect look at that I was expecting to go on this big grand journey but this will work just fine um, and let's make an infinite water source this looks nasty from out here but now with all the new material that we can have with the stone cutters and make like half slabs and whatnot, we could cover that up super easy. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be an issue at all. <laughs> all right. So now I believe what we have to do is put a water in each corner. So one, one here, that's going to go right over there. Yep. Yep. One here, one here and one here. That way, whenever the mob spawns, like I'll go ahead and let go of my keyboard. Mob spawns, they get automatically pushed to this little point right here. And they should just get sucked down right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then we have an extra water bucket because we put that water bucket right there so that they get pushed into this hole. Now, from here, I think we're pretty much done. All we have to do is dig, I believe it's 21 spaces down from where I'm at right now. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to dig straight down though. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to do this little trick. But we just didn't went down one. So now we got to go down 20 more. 16, 17, 18, 19. Ah, ah, okay, that's at 19. That's at 19. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. I did not want to go in a cave here. Oh no, uh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> I don't want to die. Not today. Not like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What, what have we done? I think we found all the villagers, guys. <laughs> I think we found them. <laughs> So what were we at? Oh, no, I'm gonna have to look back in the recording because I don't remember what number we were at down there. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, so I believe I'm at 20 uh, Which is exactly where I need to be so this is the level that I now I need to start building like a kill chamber So I'm gonna build that's where they're gonna land right there. I'm gonna do this little thing right here um, Let's go ahead and make it just a tad bit bigger 
and let's put some walls on here. That way we don't get bombarded. Another thing that I absolutely need to do is I need to go adventuring. Go through these caves and then light up every cave. Because that way the spawn rates will increase a little bit. And we'll get more uh, skeletons and more drops. It's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but I'm excited. Okay, and I, I like how there's like this natural hole already. Oh wait, it's dark. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. Um, but I like how there's like this natural hole already that way uh, We don't have to like terraform to get down into the main part of the farm here We can just go ahead and make a path from right here all the way down um, So that, that'll be super nice. This is a little bit terrifying. I'll be honest with you But I think we're pretty much G to G now if I just uh, Let's see how are we gonna do this. Uh, let's make like a nice little door right here, right? Just like that and we'll, we'll we'll make this look a little bit better way down the line But for right now, we just need to make it work because we want that we want that sweet sweet bone meal um, <laughs> So let's go ahead and cut this off just like that make a nice little square room nothing too fancy nothing too crazy uh, And then come down like maybe oh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's make a uh, half block or a half a halfsies whatever that's called there you go, a slab, there you go. So that way, actually I think they could still see me there. So let's go ahead and put one here and then a halfsies here. Is that, I can hit their toes, I can hit their toes. Uh, so let's go one more down then maybe, like this. Oh jeez, oh, oh, I had, I, I just had a heart sinking feeling there. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. How do I get back up, right here? Yeah, okay. Oh, all right, we're getting there. I just hope I don't get shot off here But I'm just gonna make this little scaffolding section here so I could take out all the four corners There we go. See they're starting to spawn already and then if I take these out. Oh, jeez. If I get trapped down there, I don't know if I'll be able to survive this. Okay, there we go It's pitch black in here if I could take out the scaffolding real quick before they just start spawning like crazy Oh, jeez. Oh, I hear the noises. I don't want to get knocked into the water. Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> oh, wait. I, 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 I stopped myself. Okay, so here we go. Boom. So now, I believe they're falling. And they should be uh, falling at the perfect height so that we just one-tap one them with our fists. I'm really hoping this works. Let's go down here. Cross your fingers for me, boys, because I have not done this in a while. And I'm hoping. I'm just relying on muscle memory at this point. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's jump in here. Let's go into our makeshift door here and yes It looks like we got some down here now. Here's the true test. Okay. Can I one hit them? No, <laughs> I cannot is he wearing armor? No, he's not Whoa, No, okay. Wait if I drop him one more block, okay, this might not be a big deal guys This might not be a big deal at all if I drop them one more block Will they die completely or will they just take enough damage all right all right so they are spawning they are spawning but why why are they not spawning when i'm down there is it because i'm out of the range of spawning for the spawner that might be it do i have to make like a nice L uh, afk farming situation up here okay see look i hear them dropping they're definitely here okay um the reason why they're dropping their stuff is because they were shooting at me up there but if okay, so if I stand right there Will that will that help anything like if I do this And I stand here. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's kill these guys real quick get all their stuff Thank you. Thank you for your contribution and then we'll stand right here and let's hope Let's hope that I'm, I'm close enough for them to spawn It's not working boys. It's not working. So how close do I have to get for them to start falling? Uh, that's the hole right there. Okay, so let's uh, oh wait, what's this? Oh, I forgot to fill this up entirely So let's go ahead and do a little practice round here uh, I don't know how to do this without like getting myself killed <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We're definitely closer now. We're a hundred percent closer now <laughs> um, Do I have any like see-through blocks or anything that I could use maybe fences? Yeah, okay, so if I stand right here, that works as an AFK area, but then I have to go all the way down here just to collect them. 
Oh, uh, that's, that's a little bit disappointing, I'll be honest. And it looks like they're dying. They're dying as they're falling. So what if I half slab this right here? Let's let's try that. Let's try that. But for now, let's make uh, let's make some stairs here, or not some stairs, um, a fence post, because I want to be able to see them fall. Make sure that that's exactly what's happening. Is this they're uh, they're just taking their sweet time <laughs> to get down there? This is so disappointing that I have to do this every single time. This is such a makeshift farm. I know I could probably funnel them up. Right? Yep. Okay, they're falling. I think I just saw one fall. Uh, I think I would have to funnel them up into the sky or something and then bring them down, which is possible. We could definitely do that so that I'm closer to the spawner. See? I'm still... They're still dying. They're still dying. But is this guy one hit? No, he's... Why, why are you guys not one hits, dude? It's okay. I'm going to be using a stone sword. Let's just make sure that they're not, like, completely dying. <laughs> <laughs> on impact first though all right so you know what i'm actually thinking uh we don't need to be down here to punch them right that's just for xp and as much as i would like xp i think the main focus of this farm should probably just be just the bones right because this isn't just not an effective farm so what i'm thinking is let's go ahead make a hopper here um, and break this down maybe right here. I'm pretty sure that would kill them. Uh, I'm hoping that would kill them. <laughs> so let's do this. Uh, I don't think that they're going to spawn down here. Um, I have a, I have a chest, right? Do I have a chest? No, I have to, I have to make another chest here. Let's make two chests just like that. And then I'm going to put it right here just like that. And then let's break this so I can get out, but I want that to be hooked up to that. So if I drop an item, it goes into the hopper, into the chest. Awesome. Cool. That's exactly what I want. I'm hoping that when they fall, that's enough room for them just to completely die. Um, and I hope that I don't need to put anything here. Do I need to put, like, some wool or something, some carpet there? I don't think we would, right? I don't know. Let's do this. Let's do this. Actually, let's leave this out for a controlled experiment here. We'll go up there, we'll wait for like, I don't know, 10 minutes and then see what we what happens, all right? And there's one, okay, did he die? Please, oh, I heard, I heard a death sound. Did that work? Did it work? It, it did! <laughs> all right, boys, we got an actual farm going on. I know there's no sorter. I know there's no, like, the, the, <laughs> I need to make like an accumulation box, uh, so like, Maybe if I go down and make several layers. But look what I'm working with here. <laughs> I made this huge cobblestone box and it just looks so ugly. But I'm glad it finally works. I think I'm actually going to sit here for the next like two hours and get some more bones, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is where I'm going to call it quits. It might be a short episode this this week or this today. Today? The, today. I'm going to learn how to talk. Get me some Rosetta Stone. I will learn eventually, okay? <laughs> anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. I love you guys so freaking much, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.